Welcome to this week's episode. Today I'm the certified mechanic again, and we're gonna build a ramp with this this spare wood over here. Brian's got some spare wood. I'm gonna cut up, get his Jeep propped up, and we're gonna build a ramp, and we're gonna change his oil. So let's get into that uh, that little episode there. It'll be educational this week, and uh, if if you got your darts and your chew ready, then let's get into this education. I should probably do one at a time. But we're gonna chop this up. We're gonna measure it, chop it up, and then uh, it'll be great because we can, I'm sorry Brian for hitting your house. It'll be great because we can get his, his uh, Jeep up so that I'm able to change the oil because it's, it's pretty low right now. Right, Brian? Your Jeep's pretty low, so we'll be we'll be fixing her up by changing the oil. And uh, I hear that's all he needs is an oil change. Maybe we'll wash the car next week. That's okay, accidents happen in the workplace. As long as you correct it. And see, nothing nothing happened, nothing broke. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got hurt as these fell, but we need to put them on the ground just to be safe. Because that's what a professional would do. Always gotta do a dart check. Make sure you got your darts. I only brought three with me to work because I was getting high before. But make sure you got your darts. Make sure you got your darts before you go into work because you can't smoke when you go to work, right? Unless you're your own boss, but who wants to be their own boss? It's all about taking shit from everybody, right? Not shit, but taking their shit that they give you, right? I think that's all the wood. So, with that, with that, without further ado, it's another job well done. We're gonna go chop the wood. So I'm putting a mark at 25 inches so that we know that that's where I gotta cut. Not we, but me. I'm putting a mark at 25 inches, just in case you didn't hear me with the smoke in my mouth. I'm putting a mark at 25 inches and then I'm gonna cut it there so that I know when I see the mark there, oh, that's where I have to cut it. Yeah, very straightforward, very educational. I'm gonna put the dart back in my mouth now and get to work. Now normally, you would wear some sort of goggles or glasses to protect yourself. And I guess we didn't think of that, but maybe in the next scene we'll find some glasses. <laughs> so this is my second cut at 25 inches. Uh, basically, uh, this is a bottom piece, so it's a, it's a bottom feeder. And uh, we're going to cut it again at 25. These bottom feeders are very important to get right. You know, and uh, normally, like I was saying, you'd wear some kind of protection, some goggles or glasses. I couldn't find my glasses, but I got my safety squints on and they're, water they're working just fine, okay? Got another one. That's about the same, right? So now we, I think we make another mark. And then I cut at the line. Okay. So 
So as you can see here, I cut on an angle so that the car can drive up as on the ramps, right? So the car is able to drive up. It, it's getting a little chillier out, so I put on a, a sweater. But my uh, my chest hair is still hanging out, so the the ladies are still gonna love the video. Uh, you know, I, I know they're always looking for my chest hair, and they're always trying to uh, they're always trying to sniff my chest hair, but they're not going to because I'm staying abstinent for Jesus. So we're gonna get to this cut here. We're gonna get to this cut, and uh, yeah, just uh, if you're enjoying the, if you're a lady enjoying the chest hair in the video, that's fine. But uh, just don't slide in my DMs afterwards saying I saw your chest hair in your video and I just wanted you to know that I don't care. So here we go, we're gonna do a cut here. Another one well done. <coughs> Time for a smoke break. That's great. So now we gotta sc screw some screws into the ramp. We'll see how this goes. I'm a, per I'm a certified mechanic. I love operating power tools. Let's get this going. Oops. Hold on. I gotta go at it like this. Is that a little deeper? Brian says that that's perfect, so we're gonna go with that. I'm High Knuckles, the certified mechanic. Yep, we're gonna need this nine millimeter, 24 millimeter, this 24 millimeter wrench, watch it, because we're gonna have to take off the oil filter. So we're gonna get on in there, get that going. So what we did here is we got this little filter here that comes out of here, it just it pops out. And then uh, the next thing, the next thing that we're gonna get off is this here O-ring. So we're gonna get to get this O-ring off somehow. So now that we've taken out the filter, taken it apart, it's time to drain the oil and then we're going to install the new filter. Uh, so while that the oil's draining, we're gonna install the new filter. And it's best to do this when the car is hot, when the engine's hot, uh, it drains easier, it flows better when it comes out, you know. So just make sure the engine's hot if you're looking to drain your oil. Oh, it's a steady stream, eh? So second step, we're gonna put the new filter in. We've already got it together, we just gotta put it in. So here we go. Step three, we're gonna take the uh, engine oil cap off and uh, we're gonna take it off. Probably put it there for now. We're gonna pour some, some new oil in there. It's gonna be great. Put this back on. So we got the, the filter screwed in off camera because we were smoking when we were off camera. That's why we didn't but didn't get that part, but we're gonna put this over top. We have smoke breaks here on, on set. It should go in. Why isn't this going in?
I did it. Just as I was about to say, Brian, can you do it for me? I got it in. So now we're gonna put some oil in the, the engine oil slot. I'm certified and professional. Now that we've replaced the oil, we're going to, now, now that we've replaced the oil, we're gonna uh, let the car run for a minute. And uh, I've got to take a special moment to say this week's episode is sponsored by Moto Master. Full, full synthetic. Uh, it's honestly the greatest oil for the car. And uh, you know, if you buy that, you won't have to buy any other oil. It's, it's pretty much the best on the market. And uh, they're sponsoring us this week. So uh, if you see them and around Canadian Tire or wherever and you're looking to change your oil, pl please like purchase them because they're pretty sick. They, they'll, they'll take care of your car's oil needs. You know what I mean? So yeah. So now that we've got the oil changed, we're just gonna check the levels and make sure that we changed it properly and just make sure that everything's good. It looks good. We did good. We did great. So now we're gonna get it back in. That's another job well done. Sorry, sorry Brian. So if you enjoyed this episode, I gotta stop hacking the darts. If you enjoyed this episode, uh, might do a, a changing the, uh, might wash the car next week. We might wash the car next week. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, and you're probably already subscribed, so I'm gonna talk, stop telling you to subscribe. But basically, if you wanna see me wash the car next week, make sure you hit your bell notification. So if I wash the car next week, you'll be able to watch it. Also, I'm on Patreon, so go donate if you want to support the channel directly. God bless you, and thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, High Knuckles, the certified mechanic. And uh, that's a wrap. We're done, and I can stop hacking darts, right? That's some real work. Welcome to this week's episode. This week we are changing the oil. Before we do that, we're gonna have to, to uh, the guy's coming back. What is it? What's that? I just was wanting to ask you if uh, one more favor. Okay, what is it? Would you call the beer store and see if they're open for sure? Uh, we don't have calling on our phone right now. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Sorry. All right, no problem. Have a good one. You too. Should I tell him what we're doing or just leave it alone?